At the University of the Free State, bread and beer are more than just the staples for students. Researchers have been probing how yeast gives beer its bubbly personality and turns dough into a loaf of bread. They've developed a technique to see inside yeast cells which are smaller than a thousandth of a millimeter. They've taken a machine more commonly used to examine electronic microparticles and used it to slice yeast cells open layer by layer. Their research has caught the attention of the Mayo Clinic in America. Doctors at Mayo are turning chemotherapy into microscopic nanodrugs. They've been trying to find ways of delivering these nanodrugs directly into cancer cells to reduce damage to healthy cells. The Free State University's breakthrough is just what they needed. What they do not know is really what, where do these nanoparticles end up in the cell. And this is where this nanotechnology, NanoSAM, can come in very nicely. So what we are doing here in South Africa, here at our university, we blast the cell with argon, similar to what we've done with the yeast, and then inside, inside the cancer cell, we can look around. The researchers believe their findings could also change the way other diseases are treated. Definitely, if you start looking at antibiotics, antifungals, you can trace these in the cells, in, in, in these pathogens, and see what happens, how it targets, where it targets, what kind of uh, work does it do inside these cells. Other international researchers are also taking notice, and the Free State University believe they've only scratched the surface of their discovery's potential uses. El Kutsir, Bloemfontein. News that moves. ENCA.com